but I told you to be careful with lithium batteries. Doctors, you are on the air. Welcome to Muggle Science. I'm Dr. Schnobo. And I'm Dr. Eyes. Today we'll talk about lithium. We'll discuss... What is lithium? Core lithium experiments. How is lithium used? After hydrogen and helium, lithium is the third lightest element. But unlike hydrogen and helium, it is quite rare in the universe. Its nucleus consists of three protons and four neutrons. The three protons are balanced by three electrons. Since only two electrons fit on the inner shell, the third electron is left all alone in the outer shell, far away from the nucleus. In its far away loneliness, this electron is eager to react with other atoms. Let's do an experiment. We'll add alkaline baking soda solution and acidic vinegar to orange colored water. Alkaline solution makes it magenta and acid makes it yellow because we use a special dye called a pH indicator. It changes color based on how acidic or alkaline something is. Now, let's add lithium. Wow, lithium is alkaline. Precisely. And unlike most metals, lithium is extremely light and floats on the surface of water. It reacts with water producing heat and hydrogen gas. This reaction leaves behind an alkaline lithium hydroxide solution. Don't get this on your skin, it burns! Along with lithium, other alkaline metals include sodium and potassium. Shut the lights, please. Thank you. Lithium also produces a beautiful magenta-colored light when heated in a flame. That's magnificent! The light can be analyzed using the prism of spectroscopes. It splits light into a spectrum of colors, unique for each element. When heated, hydrogen shines these colors. And lithium these. Here they are on a spectrum. When combined, they form the beautiful magenta lithium flame. Pretty and powerful. Lithium is also used to make hydrogen bombs. The first hydrogen bombs were too massive to get airborne until... Scientists figured out they can combine light and very reactive lithium-6 isotope with deuterium, a heavy isotope of hydrogen to make a scary lithium deuteride bomb. When super hot neutron smashes into the nucleus of lithium-6, they form one helium and one tritium nucleus. Tritium combines with deuterium, producing another helium and a neutron. This neutron carries massive amounts of energy and is ready to smash into the next lithium nucleus, giving rise to a chain reaction. In the chain reaction, one step ignites the next until the reaction uses up all the fuel. Lithium may be explosive, but it's also a helpful medicine. Just like it's used in batteries to make your toys work, it can also help people who suddenly feel too jumpy and excited, and then too sad. It helps these people work properly by stabilizing their brain chemicals. But be careful, too much lithium can damage your organs and kill you! Well, that's it for now. Bye! Bye.